Hope you guys have seen that we are done with installing Vitray and let me just give you a few literature about what you're seeing here. Okay, what you're seeing here is uh, one group A IP address port uh, TLS is crossed you that the UID auto ID zero and the network or the protocol is already is a uh, KCP that okay but if you look at uh, the default or most of the applications which you use or depending on what is commonly used the settings which are used you realize that uh, we will need our uh, to have the address as our domain name and we need to have a port maybe like 443 or any other port which you need as well we need to have um, the network as web socket instead of uh, the kcp as well we need to have the header and some parts here so and we need to have tls open not tls closed as it is into the server here so that is what we're gonna do and that is what you're gonna set up what we need to do is again is to change so this this vm as well it works but it might not work in a lot of areas or depending on what you require okay now all i need to do is to go back and then you select option number eight still and you select vitro again 10. what we need to do here is now to change protocol so we need to change the protocol from the kcp to websocket now what we need to do is to press two and now we select WebSocket, which is option number three. Okay. Now we shall enter the domain name which we, which we used the last time. Oh, which we have. Okay. Hope you can see there. We can. We have entered it. And we have activated our. Uh, web socket the other thing we shall need to do is to activate tls okay you enter the same thing and then you enter 10 victory and then we activate tls okay the way to activate tls is by selecting three now option number one open tls and then we select uh, option number one that is let's encrypt it will be easier now we shall enter our domain names here okay the domain name which we entered here is that dot now what this process shall do is to get us uh, the certificate hope you can see them um, and a lot of other things to do with the keys and other things to do with the, with the domain name okay then you press enter okay now we can also go back again we enter 8 10 okay now we can all what you are going to do here is to change the port okay we can change the port by entering 4 and then we need to change the port which we need now i will assign this to port 443 because most of the people will use that and then i'll press okay okay now we are done with the almost all this now we no longer need all these commands please whenever you log in and you want to manage your v-ray is to enter v to ray that's it then you press enter when you do that you'll be given such a menu which is very easy to manage okay now in this video and uh, the previous in the following steps i'm going to show you how you can create users how you can modify how you can do each and every six generations how you can create and the rest of the things so if you continue watching this video well we shall be getting um, you'll be getting to know the rest so let's continue with this just enter victory and then you'll be given this menu what you need to do the first option which you are going to use is to create users okay and to create users you say select option number two which is group manage okay you enter option number two now with these steps the 
um, the script is automatic you enter it brings other options so you don't need to press enter again you just enter select option and then select okay now we need to create user now you have to select add user if you need to add a port well you have to add a port delete users delete port now if you select add user you're going to create a new user if select add port you're going to assign another port but not deleting the previous port so let's just do that okay one user uh enter to use a new email now what i recommend you is to just use any email you know now let me say my client which needs to use who needs to use my uh, server is called uh, it's called maybe it's called Uji. so i will assign any email whether the email exists or it doesn't you don't mind about that okay now i'll press enter so the user will be created and the alternative id will be given and everything will be set up now to see that vms which we created you shall just enter for check config hope you can see that we are having a user here you're having a user user one you're having user one and user two but these two users are having different ids and they're having different authentication now what you need to do that what makes the email is just for you to make easy identification of the client but what the system uses it uses the uuid the user ids these ids are always different now if i happen to delete this user it means i'm just deleting this this id so if i delete this user that means if the client is having this vms which i sent to him or the file sent to that person the client won't go through the use the system because this 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 id will be not existing the system okay i hope um you're getting what i'm trying to explain here okay now you can go on and create as many users as you can and you can see that uh, i'm having this user is having port 443 as well this user is also having port 443 okay as well you can go on and add another user by go, just going through again uh port two and then we add user with option number one and you can add this way around maybe it's at email.com okay any email so long as the first name will help you to oh sorry the name is already existing Now, if you check the configs again, you see that I'm having uh, one user called what three users. Hope you can see them. But these three users, all of them are using the same port 443. What distinguishes them are the UUIDs and the emails I created. I, I touched to them. 